yo what is up you guys so a few um days ago i guess now i made a video about the gpd win mini um fitting inside the original slim case if you have only one uh grip on it um but the thing about it is with the grip you do lose some of that portability so as you can see here the grip is actually much thicker than the device itself so you do lose some of that portability another thing that i um highlighted in another video with the vid mini is the fact that it does get pretty warm it does get pretty toasty uh pretty spicy if you push those watts let's say above 20 25 watts if you push it to the max which is 28 watts right now it does get pretty hot and sometimes it is uncomfortable to hold now it's not dangerous but it can be uncomfortable so today i found a solution that addresses both of these things so here we have this grip right here is pretty much a grip attachment that goes on the back of the wind mini but as you can see here it actually has two fans in here that are going to be blowing cool air onto the back of the wind mini and the goal here is to see how effective this little grip fan actually is so let's not waste any time let's get this fan grip on there and let's uh test it out okay so right now this is going to be like our starting state we are pretty much at idle the device is currently at 15 watt tdp but it's not really doing anything and right now it is at 30 um six degrees celsius um the fan is barely moving right now it's um 2700 rpm so this is pretty much like an idle state it's not really doing anything um it's not really pulling too much power as you can see cpu is at two percent gpu is at less than one percent so this is going to be our baseline starting temperature at uh 36 uh yeah 36 degrees so we're going to take this up to 25 watts we're going to run a benchmark without the grip fan we're going to see what temperature it gets up to at 25 watts running the benchmark then we're going to put the fan on there and see how the temperature changes so let's go to 25 watts now and let's um run the benchmark see what temperatures we get up to and then see you know if there can be any improvements uh found with the actual grip fan attachment Okay, so we're in the returnal benchmark right now, and I'm, I'm gonna do this test actually um, in handheld mode, I guess what if you call it that, but I'm pretty much gonna do the test holding it in my hand because I wanted to give it the best chance to sort of emulate a real, a real life situation, and you wouldn't really um, be doing a, you know, a gaming session with the device on the desk. So I'm gonna be holding it for the test, and also it's gonna give the best chance for airflow to like get under the device because if it's on the table, that's last, you know, distance for, you know, air to come in at the bottom. So we're running the benchmark right now for returnal at 25 watts and we are at uh, 70 degrees Celsius. Now, I can let you know now that the device can actually get much hotter at um, 25 watts. It's still sort of, you know, warming up. It's still sort of uh, kicking in. The benchmark is about halfway through now. And we're just gonna get a sense of how hot the device will actually get at 25 watts. It is doing pretty good right now. Um, holding at around 70 degrees. So I would say that um, 70 degrees is more than comfortable. You're not really gonna feel too much heat, but we're gonna run the benchmark um, a second time just to give it a, a full load for at least uh, 10 minutes, just to see how hot the temperature can get up to. But right now, just this initial uh, first run of the benchmark, we are at uh, 71 degrees Celsius, which is actually pretty good. So. In, in the first you know couple minutes of playing at 25 watts you won't really notice too much heat but like i said we're going to run this test a few times and we're going to see you know how high the temperature can get in an actual extended um gaming session so after the first round of the benchmark we are at uh, 72 watts got a respectable 43 fps in the benchmark here 1080p low settings um 43 fps the highest i've ever gotten on one of these 7840u devices is 46 i believe so this is right where it needs to be as far as performance goes so let's run the benchmark one more time a couple more times and then after around 10 15 minutes of testing i'm gonna let you guys know the temperature so stay tuned for that three hours later all right you guys so we ran the benchmark a few times uh we've been playing for around uh 20 minutes now 
So I think this is a good a uh, sample, a good place to really um, check the the temperature. Um, you know that it would be if you was doing like a real gaming session. We're at around 81 uh, to 80 degrees uh, Celsius here. Not sure if you can see that, but we are at around 80 degrees. Um, so let's um, put on the uh, fan grip attachment. And let's see how our temperatures um, do. So our fan, internal fan, is currently going at 100% um, because I, ha I have it set to go to 100% when it gets to 80 degrees. So the fan is giving us all it has uh, right now. So let's add this uh, grip attachment. You pretty much just uh, slot the Win Mini into the grip as you can see here and on the back it has a USB-C with a uh, flexible USB-C cable you can plug that into any one of the USB-C uh, on the back I decided to use the one that's not the USB 4 just to keep that USB 4 port available but you can um, use it whichever one you want so now the fan the little mini fans in here are spinning up and let's continue to uh, play and see where our temperatures um, you know go so I can see the temperature is already dropping a few degrees down to uh, 78 but we're gonna just play for a little bit to see if this fan actually makes an improvement I'm gonna uh, play for another 10 15 minutes and let you guys know the temperature but it is currently dropping we're at 77 degrees now let's check back in around 10 to 15 minutes all right you guys so we've been playing for like another um 15 minutes now temperature got down to uh, 72 degrees so that is a uh, reduction of around eight degrees uh, Celsius let's run the benchmark and see if it can um, hold this temperature for a sustained load so let's run the benchmark and see what the final temperature is after that and we'll get a sense of if this um, fan grip is a um, a good thing I think it is pretty good just from my initial test right now for this um you know half an hour test here but uh, we're gonna run the benchmark just so we can give it a chance to really max um, the uh, processor out okay so just finished the benchmark with the um, the fan grip on it and we are at uh, 72 degrees Celsius um, 72 73 so that is a uh, reduction in uh, temperature by 8 degrees we're still getting the same you know 44 43 FPS in the benchmark here so I will say that this is a, a positive in my opinion so we're going from 80 degrees to around 72 to 73 degrees I think that is a good reduction keeping the temperature um, below 80 degrees keeps it comfortable the um, the D pair the buttons are not going to be as hot now they are still pretty warm on the top here it is really working on cooling that um, that bottom plate there but I really do think it does um, reduce the temperatures in a way that is going to give you a better overall gaming experience with this device you don't have to worry about it overheating so i would say eight degrees is a good reduction in temperature and the benefit about this uh grip is that it is detachable so if you want to you know keep the portability of this device you can just uh take off that grip with the fam you can still you know close this up and you maintain that uh small form factor without really worrying about you know adding too much thickness to it with the uh, the permanent grip here. Now, I will say the fans are pretty small, um, but they're not very loud. Um, so that is a positive in my mind. If the fans were like high pitched, or they had a whine, that would be kind of uh, annoying because you wouldn't really want to play if the fans are really um, annoying. So I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, take off all of the audio processing on this video right now, just so you can hear the fan uh, for a few seconds here. Okay, so hopefully you were able to hear the fan, or maybe you weren't able to hear the fan, and that should be an indication of uh, how it sounds. Now, my final verdict uh, with this device is that I do think it is um, it is good. It does take one of your USB-C ports, but you get a reduction in eight degrees. So I think if you if you use this um, 
you know fan grip wisely it could be a nice setup now it does you know reduce the portability so you may not want to have it on there all the time but that's the beauty of the removable nature so if you're ready to go and you know you're not going to be playing you know you know at 25 watts you can just take the grip off you know set that set that to the side leave that at home and then when you get back you want to do some serious gaming you can crank that wattage up and you can get um you know much cooler temperatures or when you're ready to go you can throw this in the slim case throw this in your pocket and you are good to go so there we have it the fan grip um reduction of eight degrees i think that's a win in my book anyway uh catch you guys in the next one uh I'll try to leave a link for this i did get it from aliexpress i'll see if i can find a uh, good link for this fan grip here i don't get anything from this if you buy it i'm not i'm not affiliated or associated anyway i'll try to find a link for this anyway i'll catch you guys in the next time uh, this is a cool grip uh like subscribe ring that bell all that great youtube stuff and leave a comment down below if you made it to this point and type uh cool fan type cool fan in the comments below if you made it to this point in the video anyway i'll catch you guys next time peace